everything we do, everything is about beat and rhythm and vibration. And that's why these ways of playing and moving are not isolated to the music classroom. They are how we do life and how we all can do life better. When you're doing a lot of teaching and there's a lot of information that is going inside, you need time and your kids need time just to decompress and let it sink in. The brain needs time for quiet in order to have pro profound learning. It has to have time to reflect. And you just show them the picture of the tree and they, they get it. And you think of their feet as the roots of a tree. They get that. Now, there are some movements that are what I would call complementary. So we have a hooting owl. This is dividing the body into different halves. So upper half, lower half, for example. And hooting owl, we move just the upper half of the body with the upper part of the voice. So you can move the upper part of the body in this particular movement with the voice and movement, making that ooh sound. Ooh, what we call the head voice or the high voice. All right, so go ahead and join me. We're going to move. Ooh. our cortex for reading expression once upon a time there was an ah most kids don't even know they have a high voice they're just kind of like this all the time right here in the middle and reading like this they have no idea so if you go with a whoo it's really easy for them to connect right into their higher voice and have that kind of vocal expression Okay? And then this is also about keeping the lower half still and moving the upper half. Ooh, ooh. You could do some cursive writing formations. Ooh, ooh. Write letters in space. There's all sorts of things you can do, and it mimics a lot of what they're expected to do at their desk, which is sit still, keeping that lower half of the body still while they're moving the upper half. Uh, this one is called Speak in Rhythm. So we're going to divide ourselves now right down the middle into our lateral halves. And this is similar to when a baby is doing what we call an asymmetrical tonic reflex. They're on the ground and they're moving, or they're commando crawling on their belly, right? So this is similar to that. We're dividing ourselves down the middle. I'm going to be your mirror, and you, go, you are going to move just the right side of your body in a rhythmic way. Go ahead and stand up and try it because it's easier. Any way you want. And we're using the voice like we're rapping. Anything. You can rap numbers, letters, spelling, um, you name it. As long as you're rapping it. We're going to rap the name of this movement, which is Speak in Rhythm. So you're going to rap Speak in rhythm, and you're moving rhythmically any way you want, and you can say, yeah. In rhythm, speak, speak, in rhythm, speak, 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 speak in rhythm, speak in rhythm, speak in speak, speak in rhythm, speak in speak in rhythm, speak in rhythm. Sally uh, tried just a little bit of flexity jig. Um, recently with her class. Do you want to share what well, you I shared just, with me? I, did, I, really I saw this presentation last week and I only tried card one because I'm a slow learner. Which is all and good. And I told the, the, this class, I did it in about six different classes, uh, one grades one, two, three. And I just told them I'd learned something new and I, we were going to try it out. And so I just gave them the breathing, the oh, the ooh, the um. And after about two minutes, three minutes at the most, we just kept doing it very relaxed. I was very low key. And afterwards, some of them were just going like this. I <laughs> asleep. But 
in every class, one child said, without any prompting from me, I feel calm. And I just went, oh. and they were. They were just there. They were ready. And how did the rest of your teaching go? Wonderfully. Vastly improved. Because yeah. they're that. all with you, right? Yeah. They're, they're not there. fighting them. Uh -huh. They're entrained. So you're going to be with your partner. And now the exploration for the shh. And you can use any of the vestibular with these, but we'll use shh. Do that so sharing weight is about leaning in and leaning away. You can take a minute to look around the room, all the different ways people are weight sharing. Okay? And don't be afraid if you're really to give a little muscle, slight little muscle pressure so you feel some counterbalance. So that's why I designed FlexiDJ the way it is, low tech. But nonetheless, you see how you can use that little card just very simply for yourself. It's like a little mini lesson plan for you that you don't have to do.